What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is something a little bit different than I normally do. Uh, the frustration is mounting. You know, I'm a critical thinking person. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck. I, I don't think it's a chicken. I don't think it's a camel. It's a duck. And there are a, a small demographic of YouTube channels out there that push forward propaganda and obvious bias towards one console or company and against another. And this really irks me as a gamer, and especially as a gamer who owns every console. Uh, to me, the console war is insane. You know, it's really stupid. I, I enjoy seeing Microsoft and Sony vie for my dollars because inevitably it makes for a better, better gaming experience for the gamer. You know, I, when one company introduces something, if it takes off and does well, the other company will follow suit and inevitably it'll make a better gaming future for all of us. But when you're a console exclusive gamer and you see one side of the pendulum and you refuse to see the other side or you see everything as an absolute, I win, you lose, I'm good, you're bad, it can come across as extremely disingenuous and it does a disservice to your subscribers and your fan base. And as a YouTuber, I think that channels that do this do more harm to the community than anything else. You can call yourself a pro Xbox or pro PlayStation channel, but if you do it the wrong way, all you are is anti-gamer. And so with that said, let me continue with this video. My problem with console fanboy channels. I normally don't get into console fanboy beefs. But I've been noticing some very unsettling trends on predominantly Xbox channels. Let me start this video by stating that I think if you are a fan of a particular console and you want to showcase videos that focus on that console, I'm all for it. Being a positive force in gaming while also informing like-minded gamers of what games are hot and what games are not in the community is awesome and I admire these types of channels. Unfortunately, there are a small sect of YouTube channels that in no way abide by these ideals and claim to be pro Xbox channels while doing the opposite when it comes to content. I don't normally call out YouTubers, but in this case I'm going to make an exception. Crap Gamer is a mid-sized YouTube channel that supposedly focuses on the Xbox side of gaming. He creates videos and uploads them daily under the guise of actually being a positive force in the Xbox community. The type of videos that this clown uploads can hardly be considered helpful or informative and for the most part only fuel the fire of a fringe group of Xbox gamers that only see absolutes. Propaganda channels really piss me off. And seeing that there are real people out there who are so one dimensional when it comes to gaming makes me question their mentality when it comes to real and more meaningful things in life. To me, there are a few rules to being a pro console channel that one must abide by in order to be a positive force in gaming. Number one, cover the content of your console. Being a gamer that plays on a particular console should have its advantages, and the main advantage should be the games that are released on your console. Cover the games, the news, and the reviews of the games on your console of choice. This gives your channel a purpose to gamers that are like-minded and interested in the ecosystem of that console. If your console is 90% about the competition, or is propaganda aimed at smearing them, or the exclusives they may have, then you're not a pro anything channel. You're simply an anti-gaming channel. And if that sums up what you do, I honestly feel bad for you. Number two, be critical and objective of said console. Yelling from the top of a mountain that my console is the best and all competition sucks, sucks, sucks is first of all childish, but also disingenuous. You have to be able to address the goods and the bads of that console in order to be respected in the community. If there's something not so good going on like an exclusive getting poor reviews, or the network of the said console going down, don't try to spin it and somehow make it look good by targeting the competition. Moves like this will make your fans and subscribers begin to see your lack of transparency and obvious bias towards the console you apparently cherish. Number three, acknowledge outstanding achievements. Now this is something that a lot of people can't do. This statement is for all you guys like Crap Gamer who routinely do fake reviews of a competitor's exclusive games, giving them all very unfavorable scores while always praising the exclusives on your console of choice and rating even obviously mediocre exclusives on your console with outstandingly high praise. These type of YouTubers also make ridiculous claims 
like a console isn't selling as much as we think because of insane things like media bias or conspiracy theories that their console was in fact really winning as far as sales. It's just crazy and it just makes you look crazy. Moves like this will inevitably turn you into a joke of the community like Crap Gamer is. What's happening to Crap Gamer is the outcome of a blatantly biased channel. Any real gamer will soon learn that you can't take anything that YouTubers like this say seriously. Number four, be happy. This is one of the things I notice about pro console channels. You guys are pissed. What are you so upset about? It seems that another console or exclusive that belongs to your perceived competition doing well really grinds your gears. <laughs> Anyone with ears can hear the disgust in your voice and the venom in your videos. If a company is succeeding by creating a video game console, selling millions of that console, and also getting exclusive content makes you that upset. I think you really need to sit down and ask yourself, is YouTube really the thing for you? Let's look at the facts. Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo offer video game systems as a product, and they offer tons of software and services that people pay for and enjoy. Why the hell are you so upset about it? I'm serious. Are you guys getting paid by the big three? Have they ever done anything for you personally besides take your money for their products? What is it about other gamers choosing to play the games that they like on a different console that drives you guys to these incredibly immature levels? See, as a grown man with four kids, I can't act like a kid, you know? If I'm a child, who's going to teach my children to be adults? And this is the thing that you adult gamers in these fanboy wars really need to think about. You're making yourself look bad. You're looking like a child. And most of you guys like Crap Gamer are in your 30s. Now, since this video is mostly aimed at Crap Gamer, Let's show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's take a quick look at his latest videos. Now, as you guys can see, this channel seems to be focused on anything anti-PlayStation, propaganda, and pure lies. I can't even call this a pro Xbox channel because there isn't any real substance for any real Xbox gamers that may be looking for any substantial information to help them out when it comes to picking out a great Xbox game. There's just really nothing there. The sad thing is that all you'll find here are videos about how PlayStation is the worst thing since Hitler and how Uncharted 4 is a terrible game. A game that Crap Gamer gave a 7.5 on his review. Now, this is an opinion, and I, I respect opinions, but when it's obvious bias, you just know what it is. Crap Gamer gave Uncharted 4 a 7.5 on his crap review, and at the same time, he gave Quantum Break an obviously, and I'm pretty sure, well-known mediocre game. A 9.75, and if that doesn't show bias, I don't know what does. There are more anti-PlayStation videos here than pro Xbox videos. And to me, channels like this can poison young and impressionable gamers into thinking that this crap is what being a gamer is all about. Trust me guys, it's not. Let's look at this video for instance. It states that Uncharted 4 made less money than Halo 5 in its first week. Now, the average Xbox gamer is going to say, oh, this sounds interesting. Let me click on the video. And you're going to hear this moron go on about sales and how Halo beat Uncharted 4. Now, let's look at the facts. He goes on about Uncharted 4 not selling as well as Uncharted 3. And he says that like this is a bad thing. You see, guys like this will mislead the unaware in a heartbeat. So you got to be wary of these type of channels. Now, let's look at the facts. When Uncharted 3 released, there were over 70 million PlayStation 3 sold through almost twice as many as there are PlayStation 4s. Right now, there are 40 million PS4s sold through. So, Crap Gamer, that's a big fail there. And I'm pretty sure most people have critical thinking, you should be able to figure that out. Now, fact number two, Uncharted 2 sold over 2.7 million units in six days. And while your lie sounds good in all Crap Gamer, the actual truth is that Halo 5 released in October of 2015, and as of April 30th, 2016, has only sold a total of 3.88 million, and only 2.4 of those were sold in the US. So while I agree Halo did sell very well, I still say that this video is very, very deceptive in its framing of the facts. See, here's a portion of the news from a popular gaming website, Game Rant. Quote, in just one week, sales of Halo 5 Guardians games and hardware reached $400 million, which surpasses Halo 4's launch week revenue of $300 million. However, it should be noted that although the figures include digital and retail copies of the game, Halo 5 Xbox One consoles were also included in that $400 million figure, end quote. Making a video and framing it like this in this context 
is doing a disservice to your subscribers, man. Why are you doing that to your own subscribers? Lying to your subscribers is only trumped by the lies you're telling yourself, man. In closing, I'll say this. If you're into your console and you want to share that with other gamers, be real. Don't lie to your followers and don't lie to yourself. There's nothing wrong with enjoying your console of choice, but being a positive force in the gaming community is more important than poisoning that community. Teach the younger generation what a gamer really means. Support your console of choice by showcasing awesome videos of the amazing games that your console has, and most importantly, be happy. <laughs> There's so many reasons to love gaming right now, man, I just can't even be mad. If you handle something as trivial as a gaming console, like your life depends on whether or not it outsells the competition, then I'd really hate to see how you grown men deal with real life issues. Because real life sometimes can get ugly. And if, if you guys deal with gaming issues like this, I'm sure that on some level your real life has real, real issues. If you're a gamer, who is subscribed to a channel like the one I described above, do yourself a favor and unsubscribe. You know, you fuel the fire, you feed the beast. There are tons of other channels out there that are actually beneficial to gamers looking to expand their knowledge on the game consoles of their choice. There simply are. And if you're like me and you own all the consoles and you already know what it is, this stupid tug of war crap isn't helping anybody. I say just game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave your comments below and definitely hit that thumbs up button and show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.